Welcome back. There's something in our inbox, so let's take a look at that. You remove a form from the basket. It's a departmental disciplinary action form with a note attached. Disciplinary action? Hopefully it's not against me. The note from the lieutenant reads, Bonds, please interview Officer Pat Morales regarding a complaint. The complainant alleges that the, that the officer used profanity and verbally abused him during the issuing of a citation. Determine disciplinary action, if any, based on your interview. Leave this form on my desk when you're done. And we just hear, heard the, the sound that this game makes when you get a point, which is a lot more subtle than it was in Police Quest 2. You can see now we have one point out of 460. Is there anything on the bulletin board here? The bulletin board in here has information so old, there's a missing person bulletin about Jimmy Hoffa. Okay, that's pretty old, yeah. Those are file drawers. The bookcase contains law reference materials. Okay, let's uh, explore the station some more. Well, uh, what do we have over here? That's the door to the Homicide Office. Well, we are in Homicide, so let's take a look inside. Okay, looks like a map. The graph on the wall charts homicides for the past three years. Like inflation, the crime rates rises steadily. Well, we'll see if we can uh, do something about that in this game then, shall we? Captain Tate runs the Homicide Division for LPD. Okay, it seems like... Uh, uh, Captain Hall, Fletcher Hall, from the uh, previous game, no long, is no longer in charge of Homicide. The desks are for officers assigned to Homicide. Okay, that includes us, but I guess our desk is in the other office. Rarely do you find anything of interest on the bulletin board. Okay, let's talk to Captain Hall. Sergeant Bonds, good to see you. Sorry I can't talk. Got an internal affairs meeting and I have to finish writing this report. Okay, if you don't want to talk to us, we'll uh, go elsewhere. You can see we're currently on the second floor of the police station, or if you'd go by Japanese numbering it'd be the third floor, but since this is an American game and an American police station, they don't use that numbering. Sonny Bonds, please report to the briefing room. Oh, I guess we should go to the briefing room, wherever the hell that is. Is this the briefing room? That's the door to Vice. No. How about this door, which is conveniently open? That's the door to the briefing room. How nice. We were looking for that. What's the other door? That's the door to the criminal psychologist's office. We've got a shrink here. Okay, let's go into the briefing room. You might think that there's no place for us to sit, but you have to remember, we're the sergeant. It's up to us to give the briefing this time, instead of uh, just take it. Let's see who's here. That's Officer Joseph Banks. Young, smart, and takes his job very seriously. That's Officer Carl Law. Carl's a real cut-up. The female officer is Pat Morales. And here she's a tough cookie. Pat Morales, that's the officer that we should talk about regarding the um, disciplinary action. That's Officer Kevin Miller. He's one of the old school cops. Um, let's talk to Morales about that complaint. 
Morales, I need to have a word with you in my office after this afternoon's briefing. Okay, so what did I do this time? Wait, don't tell me. Another complaint from some moron who thinks he was the victim of police brutality. Right on, uh, Morales. Come on, Sarge, get on with the briefing. Okay. Litton Public needs us, Sergeant. Give us the crap of the day so we can get out of here. Keep your shirt on. Let's see. The clipboard contains the notes for today's briefing. Okay, I guess we'll need that then to give the briefing. You begin the briefing. Good afternoon, people. I will be filling in for Sergeant Jaco while he's on vacation. You advise the afternoon shift of procedural information and announcements listed on the clipboard, and close by saying, Have a safe shift and think about making right-hand approaches on your car stops. Okay. Anything on the blackboard, actually? Chalkboard has nothing important on it at this time. I guess he's still uh, busy with something. Why isn't he leaving? Officer Joe Banks responds after being interrupted from his report writing. Gee, Sarge, I'd really like to finish this report. Okay. Anything on this bulletin board? The message board is where the daily briefing notes are posted after the briefing. Soothing, isn't it? Looks like a painting of a tree or something. I don't know. A bit hard to tell. Okay, well, uh, we should go to our office and talk to Morales about that complaint. Unlike Police Quest 2, which sort of immediately got you started with the main plot, this game takes an approach that is uh, closer to the original, with first doing some uh, routine police work before you actually get started on the plot. Okay, Pat is waiting for us. Good. You have a serious talk with Morales. I have a complaint here alleging that you were verbally abusive to one of the violators you stopped. The complaint states that you yelled, screamed, and used profanity. So what do you want from me? The guy was a jerk! He'd have liked to do more than file a complaint, if you know what I mean. Continuing the interview, you ask... Alright, why don't you tell me what happened? I pull the guy over, right? He's going 75, maybe 80, in a 50 mile zone. I walk up to the car, and boom, right away he starts eyeing me and lipping off. I'm to put up with that crap? Yes, you're a police officer, you're supposed to be professional. You ask Officer Morales directly. Did you raise your voice and, not use, and use profanity with the man or not? Look, you try being a woman cop for just one day, then tell me how to do my job. Truthfully, I don't remember what the hell I said, but whatever it was, I had damn good reason. Okay, Morales, that's it for now. Get back on duty and see if you can keep the civil in, civil servant. Sure, Sarge. Whatever you say. You think about what you've learned regarding the civilian complaint. Okay, now we have to choose how we want to act on the complaint. We either can say that we find it unfounded, or that we want to exonerate uh, the officer, or sustain the complaint, or say undetermined that we don't know uh, what's going on. Well, based on this interview, I'd say that the complaint is probably founded, so sustained. You leave the complaint on the lieutenant's desk. Hmm, there's something else in our um, in-basket now. 
Let's see what it is. Another complaint? No. You remove a requisition form for a computer access card from the basket. Computer access form, eh? Yes, we do have a computer on our desk. Your computer occupies the center of your desk. In this business, the computer is an indispensable tool. Much like most other businesses nowadays. We try to use it. You'll see that it needs a cart. And it has a five and a quarter inch floppy disk. <laughs> that was outdated in even in 91, wasn't it? Um... Anyway, we'll continue in the next video.